up guys welcome back to life on the wrist hope you guys are doing well today um, our topic for today is going to be something that's being talked about everywhere literally everywhere Twitter Instagram um, all over the news all over YouTube and that is what we think the impact of the coronavirus is going to have on watches um, the coronavirus is obviously uh, really taking the world by storm uh, it's um, not something we should be joking about it's definitely serious so if you haven't done this I want you to pause this video and I want you actually you know what you don't have to pause this video go over to your sink continue to watch this video and I want you to wash your hands at least 20 seconds because <laughs> I don't want you guys to get coronavirus because that would just be awful um, so uh, if you guys don't know uh, the coronavirus is this new virus that's that's started in in Wuhan China um, similar to SARS it's actually a different I think I believe it's a different strain of SARS and um, it's been spreading like wildfire it's getting a lot of people sick and there's actually um, quite a high uh, death rate uh, for this disease um, it's affecting those who have low immune systems and those who are a little bit uh, older uh, being that their immune systems are a little bit not as strong as some of the older uh, some of the younger people and um, sorry in China it's kind of progressed over to um, the Middle East and Iran and then um, moved over to Europe and now um, and uh, you know, affected parts of Italy and it's also in the US now and I think there's a bunch of countries that, that have uh, at least one case. I know Switzerland has, has um, some cases, which we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, but I thought I'd just give you guys some statistics about it so you know kind of what, what, it, really, what it really is. So um, there are 102, when I, when I made this video, there were 102,000 cases of coronavirus um, that resulted in 3,495 deaths which is a relatively large population when you think about it. Um, right now, there are uh, 35,000 active cases. Um, 6,000 of those are considered, considered serious or critical. Um, those individuals are in serious or critical condition. Um, so it's not something uh, to joke about. Um, 35,000, you know, 6,000 6, of those are, are, um, are really affecting people quite heavily. Um, if we talk about the country that we all love and where watches where a lot of watches come out of. Uh, Switzerland has uh, 214 cases and there is one known death, which is, um, you know, it's a concern, um, especially with a country so small and a country that has a relatively smaller population. Um, it's it's um, for sure, uh, for sure concerning. Uh, also, uh, you know, I think uh, in the US there's been a lot of um, schools that have been shut down and Companies are really reconsidering whether or not they want to remain open and have uh, people um, uh, people in large uh, groups. Um, I, I grew up in uh, a place called Basel and uh, there is a festival, or it's a carnival called Fasnacht and that was actually um, cancelled because uh, the Switzerland put a ban on gatherings of more than 1,000 individuals <clears throat> and so uh, that was uh, cancelled which was quite sad because it's been a tradition the entirety of uh, the, the history of uh, uh, of that of, of Basel so it was unfortunate um, but it's it's definitely people are um, becoming worried about the the impact of it and I think there's a couple ways you can think about the impact so the first one and the the one that's probably in the, the forefront of your mind is the impact on Swiss watch exports so um, relating this to watches Swiss watch exports numbers come out on a monthly basis and um, there are reports that are that are written where um, it goes into things like um, number of uh, watches that were exported in value, um, number of watches by price segment that were exported, um, how each price segment um, changed over time when it comes to value, but also um, the number of watches that were exported. So there's a lot of different categories. You can break it down by uh, metal types, by countries, and um, January's numbers were, were pr fairly uh, optimistic. Uh, they had some really great results. If you don't know, we, we have a series where we discuss export numbers, so be sure to check that out. Um, but um, obviously, uh, Swiss watch export numbers are going to be affected by this, um, by this virus, uh, COVID-19. And I think you're going to, um, it might show itself in the February results. Um, if you, uh, I kind of follow some some macroeconomic indexes, and um, this last Friday, the jobs claim, the jobs, uh, jobs claim report came out, and um, there were some a lot of jobs were created, and unemployment numbers went down within the United States. 
and I, I might, I might say that perhaps uh, exports might be similar. You know, February really wasn't as tainted because it was fairly early in the in the in the life cycle of people knowing about this virus. But I think February you might see um, might be hurt just a little bit. Um, but then going for forward, future months are going to be affected hugely. Um, just to give you guys a little bit more information about um, you know vaccines that are being produced, there is one vaccine um, that is being produced by uh, Gilead, it's a pharmaceutical company, and they're currently in stage three. If you don't know about um, the stages of a uh, pharmaceutical trial, um, there are uh, three stages, and then the stage four is kind of an ongoing testing of, of it. Um, but once it passes stage three, then people can uh, start using it uh, a little bit wider. Uh, it's used wider, used by a wider audience. And so this one is in stage three, but stage three testing is only supposed to start at the the end of March, or I believe it's mid midway through March, and um, you know stage three is going to take a while for, for testing to go on. So right now, that's that's really where where we are with when it comes to um, any type of vaccine that that can be used. So there's <clears throat> there's a lot of um, you know this is this is not something that's going to be be fixed overnight. So I think um, supply uh, export numbers are going to be affected by this. That's the first impact. The second impact I think goes to supply chains, and um, this is. Uh, probably more based on um, Asian mark Asian uh, watch companies that that have supply chains of uh, parts that are, are put together in China and then shipped uh, to other countries and um, again this coronavirus is going to have is having an impact on companies they are thinking about closing down or having limited hours or adjusting the way in which they run and I think that's going to have a huge impact on um, Asian based uh, watch companies so that's the second kind of uh, way that I, I would think of the impact of the coronavirus. And then the third is uh, really markets. So um, the coronavirus has really uh, hit hit global uh, markets quite heavily, um, especially if they're affecting supply chains. Supply chains are, if supply chains are, are not operating at, at full capacity, um, when companies report their earnings, it's gonna have an impact on, on stock prices and then um, that kind of um, moved itself into the individuals who are working with those companies will probably not be working as much if their supply chains aren't running um, at 100%, and then those who have investments in these companies are probably losing money, so their disposable income will be shifted. So people won't have as many as much disposable income um, that they'll be able to spend on things like watches, for example, and um, that means that the the watches that are actually out there in watch company at watch companies in boutiques are not going to be sold or not going to be bought um, as frequently. Um, let's just focus on the modern line. That means that if people aren't purchasing watches, boutiques are sitting on inventory a lot longer, so they're not going to request that they receive more inventory from the Swiss Swiss watch companies, which is going to have an effect on export numbers. So it's a really just a vicious cycle when it comes to modern watches and that's where I think this is going to really rear its head is it's going to be a long-term thing where this is just going to really have an effect on I would say at least half the year of, of uh, watch export numbers and, and the purchasing habits of, of those who are interested in watches. If you look at vintage watches, vintage watches have gone a little bit softer um, just in the, the last I'd say two years. Um, prices have, have risen quite quite steadily and uh, those who are looking for uh, a vintage wa vintage watches are not, um, you know, they, they they probably have them. <laughs> um, so I think it might um, taint vintage watches a little bit more as well, but that with the, the, the risk of um, disposable income for, for those who, who love collecting. But I don't wanna make this such a such a sad video. I think we can still really enjoy watches. And I think that's why we've really been excited about making a little bit more content. If you don't know, we started a podcast. We just went on, we just created a TikTok account. So we're now on TikTok, but we've also tried to be a little bit more active on our social medias. I think we can still enjoy this hobby and still enjoy the watches that we're wearing. You know, I have had this memory cell for a while now, but I, I still enjoy it every single day that I get to wear it. So I think we should remain optimistic and, and try and um, stay stay healthy. Make sure you wash your hands like, you, like I said in the beginning of the video, but also just enjoy your watches because that's all that really matters in the end of the day, so. Um, if you made it this far and you haven't already, um, welcome to Life on the Wrist. Uh, if you don't subscribe to us, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also right next to it is that like button, so be sure to smash the like button for us. It really does help us out. Um, also, let us know in the comments uh, section below what you think about the coronavirus and its impact on watches. Do you think it's going to be something that affects us for uh, a, a longer period of time, or do you think it's something that's going to 
kind of um, be be over in a in a, in a couple of weeks. I, I I don't think I'm wrong with with the fact that it it might be around for for quite a while. <clears throat> but you never know. We all have opinions, right? So um, be sure to let us know on that. <clears throat> also, um, if you haven't seen our podcast, go check it out. I'm I'm sure. Um, there's going to be an episode or two there that you're going to enjoy. Also, if you have some topics that you want me to cover in our podcast, be sure to do that. Um, if you don't follow us on our socials, we're at, <clears throat> we are at Life on the Wrist on every single one of them. So Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and most recently TikTok. Be sure to check us out on those. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time.